I had drawn. How are you doing, man? Hey everyone, this is Hadron, one of the robot developed here at Hadron Rover Labs. And today we will be looking at how to get started with robotics. Let me record this video, Hadron. No, I will record. Please go. We started robotics eight years ago. From our first robot to Hadron, it has been a very interesting journey. And all the advice that we are going to share today is based on our experience. So let's get started. Defining and classifying robot is a little difficult because it is a very broad term and there are multiple ways of doing so. There are various types of robots like humanoids, bipedal, quadrupedal, robots for space exploration, industrial robots, medical robots, robotic vacuum cleaners and the list is very long. In simple words, robot can be defined as a programmable, semi-autonomous or autonomous machine that can perform tasks or actions in the real world. Typically, all robots have three core components, sensors to perceive their environment, control systems to make decisions and process information, and actuators to perform actions in the real world. We will classify robots based on their level of intelligence and will also look at the skills required to build each type of robots. We will start with hobby or simple robot. As the name suggests, these robots are very simple. RC controlled cars, obstacle avoiding robots, line following robots or simple robot arm or hexapods fall under this category. These robots are based on microcontrollers. So you should definitely start here. Pick an Arduino robotics kit and build at least two robots. In the process, you will find out whether you are truly passionate about robotics or not. Also, you will learn about C++ programming and microcontroller electronics. One robotics kit that I will recommend you guys is the Minibot Robotics Kit, developed by our company Hadron Robo Labs. The sole purpose of the kit is to teach student robotics from the fundamental level. So you can definitely check out the link in the description below. Once you have developed these robots, you can level up to simple autonomous robots. These are robots that can work on their own in static environment. Example of these robots are a robot arm that can pick up objects using camera or a simple self-driven robot. You need single board computers to make such type of robots. With enough computing power on board your robots, you can use cameras and microphones to make voice control robots and robots that can identify and track objects. Get your hands on Raspberry Pi or Jetson Nano and build few robots using them. In the process, you will learn about Python programming and important concepts like computer vision, forward and inverse kinematics and a lot more. After all this, you are finally ready to make a practical real use robot. These are robots that can perform real tasks in actual human environment. Roomba is a very good example of this. Also, there are helper robots like Tammy and Astro. For doing this, you will need knowledge of ROS, the robot operating system. From here, you can move to intelligent robots. These are robots that can learn from their environment. Example, a robot dog learning to walk using reinforcement learning. We will cover ROS and reinforcement learning in separate videos. In order to develop robots, you need knowledge about three domains, electronics, programming and mechanical. But you don't need to master everything. In general, robots are developed by a team. Having basic understanding of all three domains and in-depth knowledge in one domain is the go-to norm. You must be overwhelmed by the information that I have provided you so far. But don't worry about this right now. Just start learning and build few robots and rest everything will fall into place. This video is a part of Robotics for Beginners series. 
where we will be teaching robotics from scratch if you are interested in learning robotics please make sure to subscribe the channel and like the video we'll meet in the next one